Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. It is October 18th, 2022. I'm Bryce Castillo, your pre-show navigator, escorting you into and out of the green room. Thank you so much for joining us here. We got a bunch of good stories coming up. We got a great game. Uh, if you guys remember AliExpress, we're going back. We have to go back to Ali uh, Express. Well, actually, we're going to Alibaba. Hmm. I should have made something specific to Alibaba. So we have a whole our whole graphic, by the way, just says AliExpress. It says AliExpress on it, but it ex is explicitly not the Ali. It's the other website. So that's kind of. Um, thank you everybody for joining us here. Of course, Patreon.com/slash Great Night. We're gonna show. Uh, uh, we're gonna show you into the green room now. Green room, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hey, what's ah. going on? What's up? Uh, so, 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 uh, does AliExpress have permission to exist uh, from Ali Spagnola? Yeah, has Ali Spagnola collaborated and sang a song the way Billie Eilish would <laughs> with AliExpress, or no? Uh, 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 the Blues Brothers, only in AliExpress items. Uh, too, too old or timeless? too old? Way too old. Incredibly no, when I, the, there was one time when she first started the the uh, mashups that I was like so excited that she was doing it, and I, I kept trying to pitch her stuff, and every time that I would send her things, she's like, "Way too old, wait, way too old." Th there, every everything I'd be like, uh, "How about the Red Hot Chili Peppers meets Bruno Mars?" And she's like, "Nobody who watches me knows who the fuck the Red Hot Chili Peppers are." I mean, they they just headlined like three times at ACL. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It ain't for them. It ain't for them. <laughs> They're right next to sp uh, uh, the Zoomers. Uh, uh, are in the Zoomers are in Fortnite, man. They're watching. They're watching. Uh, 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 fucking uh, uh, the Ghost of Juice World in Fortnite. Yeah, old John Smokey and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Exactly. Uh, hey, R.I.P. G. Four, huh? Yeah, let's talk about that. I, yeah, I, I heard some. I remember where I was when they pitched me the idea of G4. G4 was born. I was doing cocaine at my desk in Hollywood. Then died and lived again. Somebody said, do you remember G4? What was even going on? And I said, who the fuck are you? And they said, what if we brought G4 back? And then this time, we had less distribution, or more, <laughs> depending on how you squint at the internet. <laughs> but we definitely spend $30 million on a studio. And I said... Did they spend $30 million the first time? And they said, no, they couldn't possibly afford that. And I said, that's why they went away the first time. And so I authorized the deal. There's a clip <laughs> of, 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 of the, the rebooted G4. Uh, and I only watched it because it was a bunch of wrestlers that were doing something. And it was like a, like a game where you had to like, like drop a hook uh, or sorry, a loop and it would land on a hook. Uh, oh, oh and, and you had to put pegs on it. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and so like you kept going back and forth or whatever. And so it was like a host on, I, I assume, Attack of the Show, and then a AEW wrestler. They were going back and forth and this back and forth. This is classic from the cable no, 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 era. No, this, this is, is this current. Is the, the current one. Got it. Which shows you how threadbare the budget was because the people that they have behind their set, which are supposed to be like random people on the street behind a, a, a chain link like like jumping like, up like and street down fighter exactly yeah right? the, uh, the, this motion over and over again basically when they're holding signs they are all according to somebody on this reddit thread that i read they're all people that work on the show one of them the producer and so the uh, uh host wins over an aew wrestler rips off his shirt and then i believe like elbow drops the table, breaking the table. And you can see behind him a producer knowing that they are so fucking behind Strapped on their budget. That they can't afford to break a table. He just throws his sign in the air and leaves. <laughs> just in disgust. Now, uh, 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 which, I mean, and look, 
uh, 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 G4 is done. Uh, 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 I am always going to be sorry to anybody who loses their job in that situation. Apparently, right. they only found out that they were losing their job on Twitter. Uh, fun fact, everybody. If you're working in media and you think your boss sucks when the money's there... Boy, howdy, are they going to suck when the money isn't. If you have a good boss when the money is there, expect them to be a bad boss when the money is gone. And if you have the best boss in the world, you might hope for one single shred of humanity when the money isn't. That's usually how the scale goes. Uh, I don't want to cite my sources unless unless they're comfortable me with me saying so, but uh, uh, somebody suggested that Perhaps G4, their play was basically a hedge against the possibility that esports would be a runaway success. Uh, because last time we were in Vegas, we were hearing yeah. about uh, uh, Chris Angel's old venue becoming an esports it arena. Is. It is currently. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 It yeah. It's, yeah, it's been for, been for a couple uh, couple uh, years. How's it doing? I don't know. I mean, I don't really follow esports, so I don't know whether or not I would assume if they're if you're going to have a venue a mid-sized venue that's not like an arena because some of those events can do arenas but i don't know how many per year they can really fill up that that would be a great mid-sized permanent kind of venue to do it but you know esports is finicky and i'll tell you what after the lockdown the lockdown proved that you don't really need a arena to breaking make that news money. from the chat merrill bar is comfortable with me saying it was merrill bar who told me today that he suspected that the whole thing was a hedge against uh like basically if esports takes off and becomes the next nba or whatever they they wanted to have g4 as the platform so so basically you don't want to launch it um and this was my speculation uh you don't want to launch it saying esports is going to be the next big thing so instead you launch it and just keep your seat warm and see how esports is doing. And if esports is lukewarm, then you quietly fold it because nostalgia was not well, enough to keep but, it going. But also, it's like that's a dumb idea because if esports is that big, then it deserves its own network. It, it, it deserves a network that is built around the current boom. Well, but in general, there's always a first mover advantage. Whoever's there right this minute. So let's say esports blows up tomorrow. Uh, if, if, if you already have something scalable ready to go where you could cover the next big thing, then you have a, an advantage. Yeah, but if that's the case, then be ESPN and launch and cover uh, the America's Cup and the, like, handball championship, which, like, back in the day, if you listen to, like, 80s comedy... Every joke about ESPN is, is like is about how weird they were uh, trying the, to cover all of the sports. The dumbest and you sports. found out just how dumb all of the sports exactly. Were. And now it's NBA, NFL, like it's all the biggest sports that, I, that there are. I think it was you that was telling me there was there was some executive that came in and said, "Shut up! There are only four sports." Oh, eventually, when they had money, yeah, yeah they're like, "Yeah, enough about all this bullshit." Like, there's, o there's only football, hoop ball, stick hitting ball <laughs> but that was before they realized that they then could also make more money by having more cable channels and so then they invented more cable channels uh, uh but even then they found out oh wait no no other sports uh, uh really rate uh there's a reason why when you go to uh i almost said i almost doxed your your your, your bar <laughs> uh, uh oh yeah <laughs> When you go, it, when you go, when you go to your bar and you look <laughs> up at the screens and you see your Manchurian candidate instructions <laughs> yes. and all of your characters, Stephen A, handsome guy, <laughs> handsome man, big ears, big ears. <laughs> <laughs> like when you when you see your 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 favorite cast of characters. That's the same show <laughs> wait, being wait, aired on but, four but different all networks. Those, all those characters, uh, comma. And Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yes. <laughs> but those are all on four different networks. So it's the same show that they just air over the different things at different time slots. Right. So people can catch this talk show where they're talking about... They, they realize that talk about football and basketball was more profitable than showing... A Football live or a taped event. No, no, no. If they have access to that, they will. But otherwise, it's like, eh, women's soccer? Let's let Big Ears and Stephen A. Uh, talk about the big game in five days. Uh, 
what what is the show that I, I don't know the name of the show. I just okay. know that they count down because I see the numbers, the robot transformer numbers come onto the screen, yep. and then there's a little clip of all those things. Is it? It's probably called countdown, huh? Because they're counting Wait, down. Wait, hold on. So there's Transformers numbers. Yeah, and then and then a sports clip, and then another and like then, an old then they, sports they, clip, uh, or, or 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 a current sports. I clip. I think a current one. So that is probably the Sports Center top ten. That sounds I would, right. I would I would guess that. And then sometimes if there's shitty sports clips, it's the Sports Center not top ten. Oh. That's a clever trick. Do, yeah, and so they'll do like, oh, here's a bunch of shitty clips. And the, the 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 key with that is that they'll keep a specifically shitty clip there for months. And just keep playing and it And just say again that it's still again, the again. number one. Oh, that's... That nothing has been shittier than that. And so the legendary one that's was a pretty play good. called The Butt Fumble. Go on. So... <laughs> you, you have my interest? <laughs> so... Uh, uh, the butt fumble. Oh, apparently, open body is correcting me. It was years, uh, uh, years. The number one on Sports Center's not top ten was the butt fumble, and it was a quarterback for the New York Jets that was uh, uh, trying to run a, a quarterback sneak, and he ran right into the butt of his center, who's a gigantic brontosaurus of a man, and he just fumbles the ball after hitting <laughs> hitting the man's butt. Did, did it stay funny for years? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Indeed it did. Indeed it did. Oh, uh, so Bryce, good. if you could if you could please pull up the butt fumble so Brian can see it. Yeah, uh, last time I checked, neither the NFL nor ESPN was There's a gif. Really There's a, probably a gif. Oh, There's yeah, a probably, gif somewhere. Probably. Okay. Fair use. We're going to give uh, effective commentary. Uh, it's a news and really, really, item. it's only sec. It, like, like we only need, we only need seconds of it. Uh, 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 so, so that Brian. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I, I, I didn't see where the ball was. Boom. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He was definitely not looking. <laughs> Wait, he was looking. Oh, man, I see why this was number one. Yeah. He, with intention, was like, this is my moment. Boom. I'm going right to put it gigantic in his butt. Ass. It's going to come out of his mouth. <laughs> it's going to shoot across the field, and somebody's going to catch it. And that man's had to live with that for the rest of his life. <laughs> it is a very, very infamous clip. Yeah. Oh, my God, that's great. Uh, but yeah, so that that those are the big Transformers numbers are 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 the are the not top ten and the Sports Center top ten. Okay, so and, and we, I, I had a sketch idea the other night. Go on. I and I don't even want to say the premise because th you're gonna want me to do a line, and and I don't think I'll be able to come up with one. But I've been obsessed lately comedically with the idea. Did you ever watch Sports Center in the nineties? Uh, I saw it in passing because that that's when I was in college and yeah. you know. Other people would watch, but it. it was very, very flowery. Like, like now things are oh, like, like uh, so. Uh, uh, Keith Olbermann before he Keith, was yes, pretending exactly. to be uh, Edward R. Murrow. Yes, yeah, yeah. Before, he'd, be, he'd be all like, he's like a. Uh, <clears throat> Good day to you, Orenthal James Simpson. What a, I say no, you must not. That's why it was never going to work because he and Dan Patrick were the greatest clowns in television. Right. They were the best. They were like the like the pinnacle. A few people in their career will be as good at them doing Sports Center in the nineties. And then Ronald McDonald decided he wanted to be Edward R. Murrow, <laughs> <laughs> and he just showed how up. How dare you? Uh, uh, how dare you? I, I, you know what? How dare you, Warren Moon? Yeah. <laughs> run, run and shoot with the Oilers. Exactly. I'm, I'm up to date. I'm, I got this. Uh, uh, but, but yeah. So, but he was great because he was clever and funny, and he was always like erudite, and especially for uh, a sports, which is a very caveman-y kind of thing, even in media, he was this breath of fresh air. Anyway, I say all this to say that I, I've been obsessed with the idea of comedically trying to bring back the element of, like, the 90s sports center, like, super double entendre, very confident, very dry, uh, 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 sardonic kind of things. And I was thinking uh, uh, alt-right 90s sports center. <laughs> okay. Okay. What, what, uh, okay. Yeah. You're right. 
this was a bad idea because yeah, all I want all you, you to do, do is, is do a is line. Do a line. And neither of us could think of a line. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. So there we go. I've just ended any momentum that this moment had, uh, and I would like to move on. How dare you, sir? <laughs> I say no. No. Well, uh, no. Optimus Prime. No, no, no. Because you want to know who else is from there that you might not even know is Craig Kilborn. Oh, that's right. Uh, uh, I knew that when he started The Daily Show, he had come from Sportsland. Uh, holy cow, what a left turn The Daily Show took. I guess figuratively and figuratively. <laughs> I don't abuse the L word. <laughs> yes. Uh, 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 go on. Now I'm trying to think of a Say line. Say it. Uh, 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 go on. Uh, you got this. A finish so stunning, you think the heart attack was caused by the vaccine. Sorry, is that the Daily Show? <laughs> no, or? this is Alt Right Sports. Center. Okay, Alt, uh, Alt Right Sports Center. All right, there's something here. There's, there's something, something here. here. There's something yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. So so just do retrograde uh, uh, alt right takes, but delivered as if you were Keith Olbermann or Craig Kilborn. Well, uh, what what is Craig Kilborn up to these days? Hanging. Yeah. I don't know. You want me to call him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Craigy. It's like, hold Craig-y. on. I got his website right here. <laughs> C-A-M-E-O dot. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you hear about the uh, the political guy who busted busted one on the hub? Uh, George W. Bush? Nope. Michael Itzkiss. Wait. He's what? running for Congress right yeah. now. Yes. Against Gerald Nadler. Oh, uh, two in, classic names. Uh, Nadler uh, and... People, and people, people, people listening will know who Jerry Nadler is. But uh, he uh, uh, is pro-sex work. Yeah. And he proved it. He fucked a lady on Pornhub and the video is live. Wait, uh, did he do it as part of his campaign? Yeah. It, it's part, of his, part of his campaign. Part of his campaign right now. Well, okay, but but did he was he thinking this is free advertising when he did it? Now this is the question <laughs> because it was uploaded like six months ago, and nowhere in the video, my friend told me, does he ever say that he's running for office or he is doing this because he wants people to know more about sex work? But let me tell you. There's some fucking P and V. It happens. Okay. That man, that man busts one on the hub for his for for his cause. Boy, if if you want, uh, um, I'm told I I ain't never seen it, but I'm told that there's like an interest meter for where people watch certain parts. Yeah. During those videos, are you gonna make Bryce open the fucking <laughs> <laughs> open, open? Just open search the... Velma titties. <laughs> but but I would imagine not again, <laughs> Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Fool me once. <laughs> but but I would imagine that like uh, I can picture your your PR person saying. Listen, I'm going to need you to talk about minimum wage right before anal. Uh, <laughs> I'm no, he to... doesn't do any of that. In fact, it's like there's a moment. There's like a lot of it that's a little romantic. Aww. Like, like, like there's definitely a lot of hand holding. Uh, uh, my friend told me and uh, <laughs> hand holding. Yeah, there's it's like it's like uh, uh, you know how trust begins. It begins by with your elected officials hand <laughs> holding. Uh, he's a standing U.S. Army major. Uh, well, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm told they have sex. Mm-hmm. On Pornhub. Uh, well, uh, well uh, uh, I'll mm-hmm. take your word for that one. <laughs> <laughs> My friend told me. <laughs> but, uh, man, I wonder, I, I, is, is he up for election this? Yep. How's it looking? Not great, Bob. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he is, he is an independent candidate. So, like, there would be an uphill climb, I would say, as a political pundit. You say uh, independent. I say end in pants. <laughs> Dance. <laughs> in the pants dance. Yeah, I'm in the pants dance. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, I will say he he has sex with her twice uh, uh, in the video. It's one video, but he has sex with her at two different occasions. Uh, and and Bryce, could you look up bucket list? Bonanza on Pornhub and just give me the uh, just uh, the time. Now, don't show anything. I just want the, the 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 time code of how long it is. 
Somebody else can look it up too, but Bryce w- it would be funnier. I, unrelatedly, have you seen my new car? I don't know who gave me this money. <laughs> <laughs> Because I think it's under thirty minutes, and like it like looks the like man, the man. Uh, uh, Mike Itkus has uploaded a thirteen-minute, twenty-one-second video called oh, yeah. "Bucket List Bonanza." Forty-eight yeah. percent thumbs up. That's low. Nice. That's low. Forty-eight percent for 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 an amateur. Oh wow. Well. Uh, I mean, just because he's a politician doesn't make him a pro. Can I stop okay. looking at titties and vaginas now? Uh, okay. I all I asked was time codes. That's all I ask. The fact that you, you want to look at titties it. and vaginas is up to you, man. I'm not here to gate you in. Run wild like a border collie in the in in the countryside. Oh, I'm a dog. Thank you, deal. Brett. Is <laughs> <laughs> that the dude from Minion? <laughs> you mean what? Gru? Yeah, that looks like Gru. You think? Oh, wait. I think he looks like people. Gru. Somebody said, all right, because somebody else said that he looked like Kingpin. Does he look like more like Gru or Kingpin? He looks more like Gru. Michael Itkiss. Yeah, he looks like Gru. If you were running for office and you uh, uploaded a uh, amateur porn to Pornhub, what position would you start in? Uh, Comptroller. Uh, <laughs> bailout. Yeah. That was good. You fucking bailout. That was old. You fucking bailout. Yeah. You should have saved it for yourself. I'm you should have saved it for uh, yourself. Yeah. You're right. I, I, you should have sh- saved it for yourself. It said you they, bailed him out. Right. You're right. You're right. I You're mean, right. I was. This is gonna... exactly what happened in 2008. <laughs> You should have let him deal with it by himself. Yep. Instead, you bailed him yep. out. Good point. So seriously. I, <laughs> I mean, I don't think I can top that. I mean, even though I probably would be top. but Yeah. yeah. Show Moose boss. That's right. Who's running for office now? I'm taking control. Stuff that ballot box. <laughs> the, the... <laughs> he was ready. He, You were ready. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> we see we see him looking at a notepad. Who, in me? His jacket. It's funny. I we covered this on on We're Not Wrong, and I didn't use that. I didn't use that term, <laughs> and now I'm now I'm happy I got to use it. Yeah. Oh. You're like Brett. Just let me. I'm just. Uh, I'm yeah, just yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, Brett, you mentioned that that you had just driven a very long way. Was that today? Yeah, this morning. I left. I left this morning from Lafayette, Louisiana, and drove. How far is that? Uh, three hundred and some, it was seven hours. Seven God hour drive. Damn. Yeah. Uh, that's a, that's a haul. Yeah. How often are you stopping on a seven hour drive? Uh, this time twice. Jesus. Christ. Wait, solo or yeah. or with the crew? Going out, uh, going to Lafayette on Sunday. I picked up my sister Simone in Houston. And we went the the way. And boy, I can tell a difference of when you've got someone who wants to talk to you in the car. Mm. And when you're on your way back and there's nobody talking to you in okay, the car. Okay, so, and now uh, this leads into my question. Uh, do you prefer having somebody to talk to? Or would you rather just like veg out and listen to your audio book? Or... Uh, I love talking to my sister. Okay. And yeah, I love talking oh, yeah. to EK when she rides with me. Uh, or or we ride but, together. So, so when to when you are rolling solo, uh, what do you what do you fill your ear holes? with? Why I listen to we're not wrong, <laughs> and uh, also a little bit of politics, politics, politics. Hey, hey, and uh, then uh, the dollop. There we go. <laughs> because I want I want something feel, that doesn't have. I want to feel uplifted. I, I, I want to feel uplifted, so I listen to the dollop. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, at some point, I fatigue of hearing an ironclad airtight <laughs> argument why we're all fucked forever yes. <laughs> uh, 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 I see you does bring this up uh, because I, I only got a whiff of this but I think you probably know a little bit more the bayonetta uh, uh, yes. artist yeah I know uh, very much about yeah, that. so so uh, give us give us for folks who have no idea what the fuck we're talking about uh, give us the the five peso version that the you're five putting. peso oh, version is, is the video bayonetta that- three is uh, coming out. And the voice actress that was Bayonetta for the first two and also Smash Brothers uh, was uh, offered an extremely low amount of money to do it, which was an insult. And uh, so it was something like ridiculous. It was four thousand dollars, four thousand dollars for a game that is going to get a multi million dollar rollout. And I think I think uh, 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 mocap is included like. It's not Wait, just voicing it, the... but mocap too. I think 
Is it that that what part? What the fuck? That, really? That part might be shaky. Yeah. But but definitely. And so they get. So they say. And she goes, no, I'm not going to do it for that amount. So they go, okay. And then she goes out and says, hey, guys, guess what happened? And, uh, and, and then, then it got messy. And then now Jennifer Hale is doing the voice of Bayonetta. And she is a top voice actress. So yeah. it's not about the money. This obviously, because I can guarantee you, Jennifer Hale's not getting paid $4,000 for that. Uh, for that Jennifer role. Hale, and, does, does she have, uh, what are they called, uh, an agent? I think yes, she does. Okay, yeah. uh, 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 the first person we were talking about, does she have an agent? I bet you she doesn't. Oh. I bet you she does, but she might. Yeah. Uh, now, also, and look, we are all on the side sure. of talent here. Yes. Right? We are a bunch of talent sure. people. Like we sure. are always going to negotiate, negotiate, yes. negotiate. Now that nobody else is listening. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did she blow that up publicly too early? That's funny that you would say that. I think I've been listening to you too long because that's exactly what I thought. I was like, you know, maybe it could have been done more in a way to where a friend says, can you believe what happened to our friend? Or just, and then she goes, hey, hey, I don't want to talk about oh, uh, this. So in other words, by, by her being the one to blow it up fairly early, she precluded any chance of her getting the, well, the bridge. We, we, we also, yeah, yeah we, we also don't know. Like that is once you go public and say they shortchanged me on this thing yeah now they're like that's the reason why they're gonna go back to their to their lair and say whatever top voice actress pay her rate yeah that's fine yeah like like because sometimes off our back sometimes it's also you know yeah yeah and, and also you're gonna make her a liar you, you get because it. it's like well we never offered her that low amount yep. of money look we just paid this person a yeah. hundred and fifty thousand dollars. There also might have been a conversation about, hey, instead of giving me four thousand dollars, why don't you give me a piece of this? Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, right. We don't know. That is something I personally have brought up in the past when I've done. It's like, hey, don't pay me anything. Give me a piece of it. How's that gone over? Yeah. So uh, I, I got I, paid a straight rate. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about you give me points? But but yeah. <laughs> do you realize? Do you realize? Brett walking, yeah. walking with uh, cash in an envelope yes. <laughs> to the bank. Five hundred dollar deposit, yes. please. I mean, I even tried just like, could you just put my name on the box? How about you just put no, my name? No, no one shit. No, Hell no. That was all. That was all done back I in the, I, I in the what, early 2000s. Good on you for. for, for I was for, like, for might as well try. There, might yeah, as well try. Exactly. All they can do is laugh. I said, I said, uh, who's more known on this box? Would it have been me, or would it have been this producer that doesn't need to be on this box? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to. This is. <laughs> I was. Yeah. I was, uh, <laughs> but the, it was good. I was tight enough with the director where he just went. Yeah, that's <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. No, that's good. That's good. When, when getting laughed out of the room is the kindest move on the menu. No, not out of the room, but just like, <laughs> yeah. That's, a hearty that's a laugh funny. together. Yeah. We're oh. all laughing. Oh. What a fun laugh we're having. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey! Did somebody hey! say laughter? Party laughter. Hello, everybody. Hey. Uh, Bricycle, how are you, sir? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I, you know, I tried something for the first time What's last that? week. I had never had a Totino's branded pizza roll <gasps> or any pizza roll before Saturday. Had you had a Totino's pizza before? No. No Totino's branded products really okay. at all. Have you had any microwave pizza before? Uh, in college, I probably had a little microwave. Like, like a little Celeste? A little Celeste? I, Le uh, Celester? It would have been Kroger brand I'm, personal pan. I'm confused. I mean, as someone who enjoys salad, I would think that you would have already enjoyed some Totina's pizza rolls. Like large quantities of them. Wait, what do we, what do you mean? He's saying weed. He's saying he smokes <laughs> weed, oh, right? Like, okay. I, he smokes right, a lot of right, weed, this right, guy. Thank you. Translation. Yeah. He's there a weed are. man. Okay. Yes, and yeah. <laughs> it was great. It was fucking awesome. Yeah. It tasted great. There you go. I, but I'd never had them before. Yeah. Wait, so you got the temperature right on the first on the first go? Because oh, yeah. that that's really the well, hardest part about the, the, the pizza rolls. I did get it right on the first right. time. 
I got it right on the first time because I was having a lot of salad. And yeah. <laughs> now, did you thing. put them in the microwave or did you put it in the air fryer? Put them in the air fryer. There yeah. we go. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. There we go. That's a pro move. An entire generation will never know. Like, cause they're gonna grow up with air fryers, yeah, and that that shit is gonna get properly fried up heated, exactly, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Where like on the microwave, mm-hmm. you, it's a, a fucking a mind frozen field. one, yep, <laughs> and, and a molten what, lava and one. one, and one that <laughs> like <laughs> like a, a, it, the fucking boiling <laughs> cheese comes out your nose. <laughs> you don't even know how that could happen. Yeah, you you have ovens. All of you have ovens. Yeah, but they take so long to preheat. It takes oh, so long. Oh, God, oh my god. god. Yeah, no, come on. And they take longer to cook. In the oh, air fryer, they can cook in eight minutes. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm not here to besmirch oh, we all the air fryer. Eight yeah. minutes. I uh-huh. am here to shame anybody who, right. who puts any bread, anything in a microwave. It's all an air fryer. It's does. A... We're not talking about the air oh, fryer. Okay. We're talking about, I'm, 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 I'm shaming uh, uh, these, these two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, 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 yeah. Anything shame. bread turns to rubber in, in a, a microwave, and it's right next to your oven. Oh, yeah. Unless. Put it in the oven. Unless. Unless I have uh, frozen uh, uh, a vacuum sealed and frozen the Costco uh, muffins, the delicious muffins from Costco. Yeah, but you want those soft. This and I put is, them no, no, no. in I'm the sorry, microwave. I'm sorry. Can we please marvel at the greatest subject of a sentence ever? <laughs> I have pre frozen yes. the Costco muffins. Yes. Like there's like I just want to know what the predicate is. What <laughs> happens to the pre-frozen Costco muffins? <laughs> what do you mean? You what heat you them do? up in the microwave? Yes. Okay. And they come out great. Look at that. Mm. That's bread. I, it, this is oh! and remember, Brian, this is me saying it. Mm. Who I am a food snob. But you know I am. Hey, but, but there is a difference between if the muffin heats, stop talking and, shit and eat. <laughs> If the muffin eats, fuck you. <laughs> there is a big difference between microwaving a Krispy Kreme for eight seconds and yes. thirty seconds. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, can we get back to Totino's? Okay, yeah. fucking delicious. Mm-hmm. And right. now the only back. problem was that the bag was too small. I got a small bag, and I didn't realize that was only like two and a half servings. Now, now tell us about the Totino's. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm in a weed joint. Yeah, <laughs> smoking weed. How big? How big baggies. were they, man? Oh, how big yeah. were they? Smoking <laughs> weed. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna ignore the topic on my list that says my therapist calls me vengeful. So. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He said it to me the other day. I didn't. Un- <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think. Oh, I wait, wait, wait. Do you think vengeful in the way that you talk about other people to him, or the way that that you describe your actions or her? I don't know. Your uh, therapist. Can, uh, can I role play here, uh, Bryce? Uh, I received your payment for our last session. Yeah. Normally, people don't send cash in an envelope. Well, and as very, you know. very rarely mm-hmm. do they wipe their butts with the cash <laughs> before they. Um, well, I, maybe I'm out of line, but I think you're being a little bit vengeful. I'm just saying. Why is it that the therapist always has to wait for me to get into the video call before they can get into the video call? Oh, okay. I'm I stop, I stop a lot seeing of my therapist right now. <laughs> I, I, I stopped seeing my therapist because uh, they made me talk too much. <laughs> And you're like, they made you talk? Why does this have to be about me? (laughs) For real. No, because like I got through a couple weeks and I'm like, okay, yeah, it's fine. It's me talking to a new person, blah, blah, blah. And then like at a certain point, I'm like, you gonna fucking ask me any questions, guy? Like, like you just gonna like let me my, monologue? Because like this is actual work for me. My oh. like this is what I fucking do. That's, that's what I love about my therapy mm-hmm. sessions. Is is it is a podcast? Only nobody gets upset mm-hmm. when I step over a line. Mm-hmm. Nobody gets upset when I quote actual numbers. Nobody gets upset when I call names. It's it's just one dude having the best podcast ever. You should ask your therapist if you're vengeful. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know what? I'll, I'll tee that up. It was just it was strange because i didn't know what to say about it i didn't know how to respond to <laughs> you fuck you c word uh, <laughs> the, uh, the answer is you don't say anything you just pull out a you notebook go. yeah down, and you're yeah, right. you, uh, you go yeah. and you're like go on interesting <laughs> make it meditated yeah <laughs> how does that make you feel mm. that does seem like bad form on a therapist part though to say to that? say that you're vengeful because like, like they can think that but, like, isn't it their job to be like, 
let's explore the roots of your obvious vengeful nature. Well, we're working on it's a work in progress. No, yeah. sure, yeah, but he shouldn't. I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe that's like like uh, honesty between the two of you that he's yeah. like. I, I would. I would consider. Bryce, I would consider you a if, if you're comfortable sharing, how does that come up? <laughs> not there. I'm not actually comfortable. Okay, all right, all right. All right. That is yeah. personal <laughs> matters. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> and it would look a little bit <laughs> yeah. like this. Stop, it. stop, stop, stop. Yeah. <laughs> we already made him look at yeah. titties and vaginas. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, we only get so many coupons a day. It was People after looking it at is, porn, it is, it making it for it a is, second. The number of times I've had to look at work at porn at work has been... More than zero. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> More uh, than zero. Uh, I've I've recently listened to a few episodes of Blocked Party. Oh yeah, Jesus Christ! Every episode they're looking at porn. Every I haven't episode, listened in a while. I guess. Every episode that I've listened to Blocked Party, and I listened to the one with a uh, 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 big soft titty dot png. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and it was like within five seconds, they're they're watching uh, uh, animated uh, 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 porn. Sure, of, like. Bart fucking Marge and <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> they uh they used to do one of their older shows. Uh uh oh, they did a, a, a I think it was a bar rescue podcast, but they did it on live jasmine or or something. <laughs> they did it on a on a, <laughs> on a webcam <laughs> site. Continue. Hey <laughs> content how, content, how I guess. Go? Well, they turn the computer on and then they yeah. talk about John Taffer for an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the surrounding video stuff is like lots of this happening all around. Yeah, they're 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 wacky. They're wacky guys. They're funny guys, guys, man. Yeah. To in Bryce's therapist defense, he only called <laughs> he him. Is. He <laughs> only he only called him vengeful the third time. Bryce started a sentence with "dipshit says what." <laughs> Oh, uh, I, I, I think I started a love affair with the word dipshit. I, I think it's one of the few. Oh, it's a great one. It's 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 yeah. it's great because it isn't ableist. It 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 uh, uh, the word shit is increasingly agrarian and not offensive. Yeah. Uh, dipshit doesn't really mean anything. You're not you're not being mean to a. Some, Just wait. A, Someone's going to find the racist origins okay. of dipshit. What you I'm are really, still calling someone shit, though. What yeah. I'm really saying is I definitely freely have started using in the YouTube comments calling people <laughs> dipshits when they're being bad, badly behaved. He was very proud of it. And you know what? I'm on board. <laughs> 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 I definitely I definitely did a screen capture <laughs> and sent it to Bryce. Like, by the way, this is how I'm handling the channel now. You know Double what? tap. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What did I say? I said, I said, yo, dipshit, knock it off. Yeah, We're classier like, than that here. <laughs> yeah, dipshit with knock it off was what got it for me. Yeah. Dip, <laughs> yo, dipshit, knock it off. Very PG-13. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, had, I, I used to have one when I lived in Houston. I would use the uh, phrase benignus. I would call someone a benignus. The fuck does that mean? It's actually a street name in Houston, mm. and I was like, a street. It name? sounds like something you would call it's, someone. Oh wait, hold on. The name of a like a street you would drive cars on. Yes, not a street name like Home Slice. No, no. Or, no. <laughs> hey, this is my boy Big Nignus. Yo, yeah. yo. <laughs> like, I, like, I, cause I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna fucking look up a, like a, like an old Paul Wall song and see <laughs> Benignus in it. Benignus. <laughs> Got a guy up at the graffiti. Oh yes, this is from Benignus. Yeah, <laughs> there's, ah, a, there's a... an early Benignus. Bidding starts at one million dollars. <laughs> That's what one time Heaton called himself an ethnic comedian, which he was referring to. Yeah. He was referring to as like no matter what he does Culturally, in life, he's a he comedian. will always think yeah. of himself as a comedian. The, the but way initially, I'm an ethnic magician. Exactly. But initially, he's like, <laughs> I, I, like, oh, like I'm an ethnic comedian. And I'm like, like Richard Pryor. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I would probably say like occupational like, like, or like Bruce Bruce, like earthquake, like, earthquake, like, yeah, hamburger, <laughs> Red Fox. Yeah, dipshits like a Joe Coy. See, I got mm -hmm. one that wasn't black. Mm -hmm. There you go. Like Fluffy. <laughs> there we did, go. Did, uh, did, uh, <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. 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 I'm bubble it up. I'm bubble it up. Okay, I'm thinking about how language changes over time. Mm -hmm. and oh, I like where this is going. Very, yeah. very Always naughty or less naughty. Yep. And um, I was reflecting on the fact that uh, I don't know that we've discussed the fact that I got away with using the C word on Twitter. Oh. So wait, hold on. You're talking about the uh, time that you went to a bank 
mm-hmm. and you robbed a bunch of money, yeah. mm-hmm. and you got away with it, yes. and now you're living on your yacht. Yes. And yes. now you have people on your yacht yes. that no one knows how you got. Yes. And you're saying, do you want to know how I got this yacht? <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that uh, bank that was yeah. robbed? Yeah. yeah. I'm t- uh, <laughs> can, you could delete parts of the internet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, it's just it's just bizarre how how certain words were very very loaded when I was a, a teenager and now they're they're fairly innocuous, like moist. Wait, was moist ever a bad word? <laughs> no, but people get icked out by yeah. moist. It's an icker, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, I remember my high school buddy Gordon was saying that he's convinced that uh, the best curse words all have b's and p's in it because they're fun to do, like boob, <laughs> poop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, uh-huh. like, what are some other words? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some more. Uh, bastard. Butt fucking. <laughs> okay. All right. Write them mm-hmm. down. Yeah, write them down. Write that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And what the the no fuck? G. No what G. What the no fuck? G. Wait a minute. No, wait, no, I didn't wait a minute. No G. I, I said bunt. No, no G. We got to make sure there's no G at the end of that. Uh, uh, oh, but fucking. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Because yeah. it's but fucking, and then it gets weird. That's whole pot. Whole now that's right. just a guy's name. Yep. Yeah. Some guy. It's just a Bullshit. regular guy's name. Yeah. Imagine a young Pol Pot <laughs> growing up <laughs> in Des Moines, Iowa, and we're shaming him. Yeah. Because he, well, he or she know. is named they, Pol Pot. They are named Pol Pot. They are named Pol Pot. Yep. Curses that end in. And it was tea. just because and named because the. Uh, the parents heard the Dead Kennedys song. Yeah, Bryce, if you were going to write an alt right Sports Center line, <laughs> yes. what, would, what would your what would your alt right Sports Center line be? Ooh, uh, it would be oh, it would be like about chemtrails over a stadium. Like oh, the 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 uh, the Dolphins game is interrupted because of chemtrails. Uh, Do you ever watch Sports Center? No. What a beautiful field goal! <laughs> a cold, straight line like the death causing chemtrails right over Reliance <laughs> Stadium. Another person who has not watched Sports Center. <laughs> it's literally... me, generic sports announcer, yeah. alt right yeah, not, like, not the same. I love thing. boobs, poop, <laughs> poop. and. But fucking I found the worst crowd to ask this question. Yeah. <laughs> I think we know what this is all about. We know about politics. We know about You are sports. blowing people's ears out right now. Sorry. We gotta confirm. I'm I'm to get you a popper stopper, for God's sake. <laughs> uh yeah, no, I uh You wouldn't know. Vaccines. Vaccines. I could I could probably come the up with The vaccine one was the was that was really my cop out because like like that's like the funniest a lot of, of the all players... right takes yeah. is like the vaccine doesn't work because anti vax shit has been around forever. So people are kind of lol inoculated from like it being uh, uh, fucked up. Yeah. Where like a lot of the other, I don't know, I guess like stop the steal is still kind of funny. Like you can just yell stop, stop the steal. So that, <laughs> that spiral was as straight as Oliver North. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. All right, you guys got. You have five minutes to laugh. <laughs> <out of this. laughs> Holy shit. I couldn't win. Ollie North, Ollie North, Pop Bry. I gotta say. <laughs> something, something. You, you, you flipped the switch in that man's soul. <laughs> that man was ready to laugh about know. the Iran Contra <laughs> fucking situation <laughs> because Brian just fucking <laughs> melted. For audio listeners, Brian is still plus, vibrating for once, like a fucking. For once, I got plus, one. Plus, 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 also, like, <laughs> We're gonna play a word association game. I'm gonna say a name. You tell me first word possible. You're not. You're mine. Oliver North. Straight. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you're thinking from the alt right, yes. <laughs> George W. Bush. Straight. Straight. <laughs> Ellen. Straight. At straight. Uh, for a while. Oh God, that's so good. <laughs> Kate McKenna, that's strange. Kate McKinnon? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's like horseshoe theory, she's straight. Horseshoe theory. Oh. Yeah. That she's going all the way around. All the way around. <laughs> <laughs> like she's she is so identifiably gay. She's such a convincing she's the straight best. person. She's the best. Yeah. 
<sighs> anyway. Anyway. Hey, anyway. when's Black Adam coming out? Uh, like real soon. Yeah, I think it's this week. Like this week, next week. The hierarchy of the DC universe is about to change. Yes. That's oh, a, oh that's no, 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 no. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Black yeah. Adam's about to be the number oh, is one. It, it's, it's this Friday. Yeah. yeah. I still don't know how it is they're going to make Black Adam work with Shazam. Oh, well, uh, there'll be a big problem that only the two of them together will be able to solve. Sure. But I mean, the styles is what I was thinking of. Well, one the violence is... of one and the other one. Doesn't that make an interesting problem? Yeah. Oh, no, so I'm looking if, forward if, to it. I'm uh, not saying that if, it's if not going to work. They should make good, a movie about it. Wanna... Yeah. 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 <laughs> if only. Well, well it, 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 the answer, of course, is like uh, somebody super violent can always... Ooh, restrain themselves sure. uh, for 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 yeah. a P- oh if this were a PG thirteen movie <laughs> that would be did, funny. did you did you hear all the so spoilers there's a there's a cameo in Black Adam okay yeah. don't you tell me with it? Don't, yeah no no no, no. as a matter of right fact now. we have it right now uh, <clears throat> hello it's me Dwayne the Rock Johnson <laughs> I hear that uh, you're having a birthday. Um, and you like sports. Oh, damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> and your cousin Terry wants to wish you uh, a happy birthday. <laughs> can, you're you, welcome. Can, can you do an impression of The Rock? <laughs> that was, was, that, was that it? Was no, that your that's best all one? you're going to get out of me. <laughs> yeah. I don't think Two I weeks before Black Adam, one. they kill people for that shit. They, they have DC's hired assassins. To imp- yeah, imp- yeah. Imp- anyone impersonate the Rock? No, anyone who talks shit about the Rock. I don't think anyone's talking shit about the Rock. We're just yeah, doing Kevin, impression of the Rock. I, d- I did a poor impression, and now Kevin, I'm a marked uh, man. Uh, what's his name? Kevin Smith. No, he's Biden? dead now. No, the little one. Sorbo. The short Kevin one. Sorbo. No, the short ones. Hart. Kevin Liver. Yeah, Kevin Hart. Yeah, yeah, Kevin Hart will come over and flick and you tweet about you right in the nuts. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> flick your balls. <laughs> yeah, right. not even a full punch. Hey, right. let me tell you how we got showtime. Mission Control, are you there? Hello, everybody. Hi, I'm hi. here. <laughs> yeah, hi, I'm here. You want some, some back and forth? I'm only, I'm only going to keep either. doing cameos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Are you the sending it over? <laughs> We're sending there it over. There we go. Thank you so much for everyone in the green room for joining us. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm going to get some music put on the ding. All right. Well, we are here. It is October 18th, 2022, three days before the release of DC's Black Adam. So everyone knows. Hi, everybody. We are going to do a little bit of birthday borner in here. This is where I'm going to give everyone the shout outs that they asked for in our birthday borner channel over at a Discord, greatnight.tv slash Discord or discord.greatnight.tv. Something. It's somewhere there. You can find it. Uh, we've got some birthdays here. I'm going to go through them, including, uh, oh, our, our friend EK. Her birthday was last week. Uh, nobody made it, but happy birthday, EK. Uh, Enchilada of Fun's birthday was on the 16th. They are 41 years old. Happy birthday. Enchilada of fun. And Jean-Claude Van Damme has turned 61. All right. And today on October 18th is Android Doughboy's daughter Savannah's 11th birthday. Happy birthday, Savannah. I hope you have a good 11th birthday. Thank you, everybody, who's uh, uh, letting us know about the birthdays. If you've got a birthday coming up or just had one, please put it in our birthday borner uh, a channel in the Discord. Yeah, we got the new spoiler in time forum in there. It's just fun. We just opened up a, a thing for Miami Vice, which is now uh, we're back on that for spoiler in time. That's a lot of fun. All sorts of good stuff here. I want to talk to you a little bit. Got uh, it is. Uh, uh, oh yes, video games. I want to talk a little bit about video games. I want to talk a little bit about video games. I uh, so I'm still playing Arcade Paradise, um, and I picked up Tunic. I'm playing Tunic. Tunic is super, super cute. I, I, I have, I, I, like, just, Tunic is so great. Uh, if you don't know, it's like a little Zelda game, but, um, instead of getting, like, kind of a big, epic story, narrative dump and all, um, they just throw you into the game, and they, they don't tell you what's going on, and so you have to find out, um, everything about the game as you play it. It is, uh... It's a lot of fun. Yeah, Krug says it's their game of the year. Yeah, it's a, it's fantastic. It's it's really well considered. It's really well designed. Um, I have I I think I know how far I'm in, but I I, I don't I don't I don't know. It's really cool. Uh, Elgonder says I've heard Tunic is pretty difficult. I'd say if if you're not able to solve what you need to be doing at any given point, 
then yeah, I think it's going to, I think it can be pretty difficult. It, I think it is very similar to The Witness. The Witness also, uh, an, a, another uh, big puzzle game, um, doesn't really have like instructions. They don't really tell you how to play it or uh, even really what's going on. Um, and uh, so you, you are learning how to play this game by by doing levels in it, which is, is a really interesting way to do it. And it, it means that the way that those levels are designed so that you learn while you're playing uh, takes a lot. It takes a, a lot of consideration. And for a game like The Witness, where you can, where, where you have all of these different areas and they're a little bit connected to each other, but they definitely have different concepts and different rules going on. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's fantastic. But The Witness also has the same problem that Tunic does a little bit of like, if you step away from it for more than a week or two, you might forget where you were at or what you were doing, or you might get a little rusty at it. Which happens, it happens. But it's, it's, uh, 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 Tunic is really good. It's really cute. Um, and they've got some, they've got some accessibility options if, uh, if, 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 if uh, combat, uh, is not your thing, or, uh, if you're, if you're hard of hearing, one of the, one of the things is, that hard of hearing uh, there's some audio challenges or audio puzzles that they can uh, make easier i see you guys says will you play scorn uh, probably not those uh, scorn is uh uh is is a first person puzzle slash horror game kind of a horror game um i'm told that the story is interesting and that uh is visually very intricate but um maybe the combat is leaves a little bit to, to, be, to be desired and with the uh, checkpoints were weird. Um, I'm actually about to get into the medium, which is on uh, uh, is on the PlayStation Pass now. Uh, that's where you you play a psychic who crosses between our world and their world, and so you're doing dual world things. Uh, also, like uh, that that'll be neat because because you know uh, puzzle games and and. Uh, and also, like, uh, I'm, I'm very excited. I, I know, today I had, a, I had a feeling like I am really happy for Akira Yamaoka, the, uh, me, the musician. Uh, he, uh, if you don't know, did the music for the Silent Hill games back in the day. Um, and, and he was a producer on it and, and, and very, very, I feel like, musically influential within video games. It was a weird thing where he would make, he was making music for Silent Hill, which is a lot of industrial and... Um, some, some, some rock, some an acoustic, uh, uh, or alternative rock, um, and a lot of soundscape stuff. Um, but then at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, he was like making music for the Konami games, for like, uh, or for, for the B, for the B Money games, like uh, Beat Mania, and uh, he made some DDR songs um, in the day. And uh, and and so now he's like he did the medium of that was a year, it was a couple years ago, I think. Uh, he just did. He did the score on the uh, the cyberpunk anime, which is great. Also, and the music's great. Also, I'm just really happy. I'm really happy that Akira Yamaoka is like still making stuff in a world where like Konami is teasing they might maybe do another Silent Hill thing. Maybe. Um, I'm happy that he's <laughs> happy that he's fine. The Buck says, uh, play Metal Hellsinger. I've, I've seen that. I think, uh, is that one also a, uh, is that a VR game? That that looks very cool, but I don't, I don't have VR stuff. Everyone asks, have you played Oxygen Not Included? I have. I've played a little bit of that. That is interesting, uh, but I think that's one of those games where I kind of need a little bit of a guide to get into it. I was like that with Tropico. I could I kept bouncing off of Tropico until, um, uh, until someone showed me, like, hey, here's, here's, just, here's how you start. Just do these things, and and then that uh, that that was uh, that was pretty cool. All right, we got folks making their way in here to start the Great Night program. We'll get started in just a few more minutes. Uh, thank you again for joining us. But yeah, Oxygen Not Included is very similar, where it's it's like uh, um, it's Terraria-ish, it's Minecrafty, but also it's Oreo uh, e and don't starve e. -E. Yeah. Uh, another J Martin says, play Trombone Champ, Bryce. Well, <laughs> it's good. It's good, but also I get the joke. I get the joke. What? Get on, get, get, get on his mic. Good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vouch. Uh, uh -huh. Bone Champ reawakened my inner 20, 30, 32 year old. Um, 
It brought me back to 2008. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's about right. Uh, 2008, and I was playing <laughs> rock band, only it was with a mouse. Sure. And on the trombone. I, yeah, I, I am enjoying Trombone Champ as a member of the culture. I'm enjoying it as like seeing all the bits, right? Someone is, someone does like uh, uh, sea bat, you know the the Hudson Mohawk sea bat meme song. Do you know sea bat? Do you guys know the sea bat thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I I harangued him to get in that chair, man. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Many people ask me how I came to the trombone, but I believe the the trombone came to me. Mm. Shouldn't have fumbled that line. Yeah, too. that would have been a little straight bit straight like Oliver North. <laughs> Classic straight symbol, Oliver North. Uh, uh, no, but, but I but I feel like I'm getting as much enjoyment out of Trombone Champ just from watching seeing, it. Yeah, from seeing the clips. Like you, and, you don't actually have to be the one who's bad at playing trombone to enjoy right. the best parts of trombone. Yeah, yeah. Though I would like. It, Although I do love the fact that you earn toots. Uh, <laughs> toots, great word. Well, in uh, uh, that has like the free play mode, right? That would be fun to see because people use that to make uh, to make their own versions of songs. Correct. Uh, Correct. Uh, oh, oh, that seems I, fun. Yeah. I yield the remainder of oh. my time to the distinguished gentleman from Lafayette, Louisiana. Ah. Uh, well, thank you, Brian, and uh, thank you, everyone, here for joining us here on the Great Night. Send, send them to. Uh, you did, but do you have a birthday? Okay, get on. Get, can can she borrow right. your mic? First of all, everybody, happy butt squash day! If happy you go squash. to my Twitter, you'll see what I'm talking about. Oh. And also, happy birthday to me on Thursday. Yay! Happy birthday, Annalisa. Happy birthday to. to I deserve that. Yep. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to be doing my D&D stream with Jason Murphy, uh, twitch.tv slash The Strangerous. Ooh, very Thank cool. you, everybody. Very cool. Thank you, Annalisa. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Will there be cake? And is it a lie? Okay. And frankly, is it a lie? It is a lie. Classic. This is some classic gamer humor hey. for you there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we are going to get the program started. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here. Once again, support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash great night. Uh, uh, if you're a longtime supporter, maybe check us out there. Uh, 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 maybe check us out there and give us some money, please. All right, uh, Patreon, all the other sort of, sort of good stuff. Hello, everybody. We're going to get started in a moment. And uh, we're going to make sure everyone is uh, getting their shots lined up, getting their lines shot up. Ugh. Now let's... <laughs> Mistake. Mistake on that one. Oh, Can we edit yeah. that? Can we just? All right, let's do our final checks. Oh no. We're okay. We're gonna... stretch. Stretch. Okay. Okay. We will stretch. We'll stretch here just a few more minutes here. Really Video long James. line. Hey, uh, Bryce. Hey, Justin. You ever notice uh, uh, traffic? Oh God, and it's every day with it. I know. I go back. I go on the roads, and they're still doing it. And these people, man, what the fuck? Who wakes up in the morning and saying, I'm going to be traffic. Let's all line up. Let's all stand in the line and not move. That. I hate that. Or shit. Fuck fucking, you. It's fucking bullshit. Fuck you. We're Fuck. going blue. <laughs> we like, that's what we like to Whoa. say. That's Whoa. Whoa. shit. You. You're, you're going to talk about boobs and Go butts. Get out of here. And right. poop. Pussy. And poop. And booba pooper. <laughs> Don't look that one up, kids. All right. <laughs> we are going to start the program here. Let's take a look at how everyone's doing. Brian, are you good? Yeah. Justin. Yeah, yeah. Annalisa. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Brett. Hello, friend. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us. We're going to get started with the Great Night program here. Remember, you can use the bang S command in the chat to suggest an episode title for the show that we're about to record. Isn't that so fun? <laughs> Isn't that? Mm. Is that so fun? It is so yeah. fun. Okay. Yes, thank you. All right. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. You. Yes. <laughs> I'm apparently a vengeful podcast producer as well. Oh. <laughs> All right, Brett, are you ready to do the thing? Let's do it. All right, I will count you in. In. 